Syrian refugees are moving in and out of the Iraqi Kurdish region to visit families in Syria and also those in various camps around the region. There have also been reports of rising violence and crime in and outside of camps. Deputy Governor of Dahuk, Ali Adham, recently told Shark al Aswat newspaper nearly 500 to 700 Syrian refugees go to Syria, then back to the Iraqi Kurdish region on a daily basis. The refugees who do visit or return to Syria are taking a tremendous risk as the conflict is at its height and has no end in sight. Adams said he believes the refugees are visiting as a means to give money to relatives in the country who have been struggling with an economic collapse from the war and the skyrocketing of prices for basic daily necessities. Adam also marked another troubling trend and highlighted problems of crime and murder in some of the camps. He told the newspaper one Syrian was killed outside a camp in Dahuk and some Syrian refugees killed a Yazidi man and robbed his home. He added the rise in crime has also been a trend at various camps throughout the region. The Kurdistan regional government has called upon the international community numerous times to aid the region in the crisis as the new government is incapable of tackling the issue on its own. The Kurdistan region sustains more than 90% of the Syrian refugees in Iraq. Most of them are predominantly of Syrian Kurdish ethnicity. In a response to a recent influx of refugees, the KRG, along with a UN refugee agency, have provided supplies and tents to majority of the displaced families. To date, the KRG has given more than 50 million to aid in the crisis, but still needs more for additional help. According to the UN Refugee Agency, Iraq needs 310 million to fully tackle the issue. It has only received 36% of that, or $112 million, UN data shows. Due to the recent terrorist attack in Erbil, the borders from Syria into Iraq have been increasingly tightened. However, the flow of refugees continues to come into the region. This is Armando Cordoba for Read All English.